The coffees from Nariño are usually a little bit lighter in taste and very floral. They are highly acidic, really exciting to work with. This coffee tastes like stewed fruit. We have a typical Colombian apple taste in it and is a very, very creamy cup. I love it. <laughs> Nariño is very unique in its location, the elevation, the closeness to the Pacific Ocean and all this like creates a really complex and light and acidic flavor profile. So La Union was one of the coffees that was sent to us as pre-ship samples and we cup them blind. We usually cup blind so we don't really know what's on the table and uh, we're just evaluating the cups as they are in front of us without knowing what it is. I think it's the best way really to assess quality. La Union really stood out. We got amazing flavors and my whole QC team was around the table and going like, we have to buy this. So our idea is to go back this season and visit the Nariño region and go back to La Union and meet the farmers and see what they are doing to make it taste so good. What I find really interesting also is that the picking of the cherries is usually recommended at the ripest point. So the farmers really know when to pick the coffee cherries to make them taste so good. But actually in some seasons, um, because of weather circumstances, rain, sunshine, cold periods, um, the sweetness and the sugars inside the cherries are developed a little bit later. So the farmers have to go more pink, we say. Um, the bricks can be measured in a bricks meter and it's very educational for the farmers to learn about how much sugar is actually developed in the cherry at this particular point in time. So for La Union, it was recommended to leave the cherries another two weeks on the trees to get more sweetness out of them.